at the Iron Chef competition. We had eight teams of students competing. They knew some ingredients going into the competition that they wrote their menus around. We were trying to feature Ontario pork. I had a secret ingredient that I threw at them the morning of the competition that they couldn't prepare for, and that secret ingredient was candy canes. How are you working the candy canes into this? Um, we're going to put candy canes two ways. So we're going to put it in the brine for our kale, and the blueberry ones we're putting in our coolie. This is just for fun, right? Part of the experience of cooking, and I think it's awesome that they're giving us this opportunity. We're prepared. We have laminated sheets. Uh, <laughs> we've been practicing. We're good friends. We're here to have fun. We're also here to win. It's a competition, but at the same time, I think they should have fun and showcase some of the skills that they've learned over the course of the couple of years that they've been here. I think competition is one of those things where it really pushes you to try and do your best. From their skill standpoint, if they can hold their composure, I think that it really helps them push that limit. I can certainly see the standard increasing year over year and obviously the instructors here are doing a fantastic job at guiding the students when they go out into the industry they're going to be great cooks for future employers which is extremely important. It is a fantastic competition. Just the level of skill and the level of menus that we received this year were just mind-blowing. I was just really really impressed by the skill level shown in some of these menus. The first and second team, they were like neck and neck. The difference in the score was 0.14 of a percent. So very, very close. Very hard to separate them, but obviously when you have three judges and you have kitchen judges as well, basically what you do is you put all the marks together and let the number speak for itself. The difference between second and first place was 0.14. The winner of this year's Tabasco Iron Chef Challenge, Team Rocket! Yeah! I don't even know how to express my emotions right now. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy. We worked really hard. There was a lot of struggle at the beginning and we definitely pulled through. We learned a lot through our program and honestly it was a great experience. I feel like I can go out there and get stuff done. I have a great team. Like we all did a really good job. Like it was awesome. The place we presented were really good and like we're all happy with what we did today. Since I came to Humber I'm confident in my skills and with all my chefs being great support systems and my friends, I believe I can go out there, get what it's needed to be done and actually open my own business in the future.